This may be the worst day of my afterlife. Why? What's wrong? I cannot believe I let you talk me into attending this coin collector's convention. Do you know how difficult it is to autograph a penny with a bra tip sharpie? Or how embarrassing it is to be told, you look a lot younger on your penny. Come on Abe. What else would you be doing today? Something more becoming of a president. Like what? Like what? Because I committed to this as a favor to you, I turned down an invitation to deliver the keynote address at a symposium on the dangers of nuclear power on Earth. What is wrong with nuclear energy? It is safe. Safe? Compared to what? Snorting a line of anthrax off the dorsal fin of a great white shark? Attending the Sturgis motorcycle rally wearing a Harley Davidson sucks t-shirt? You know what I mean. George, calling nuclear energy safe is like calling Charlie Sheen, well adjusted. Look no further than Japan's current nightmare as proof. Its damaged Fukushima nuclear power plant continues to spew radiation, contaminating people faster than a mall of America Santa Claus with chicken pox. Come on Abe. One out of the planet's 442 nuclear power plants suffers a meltdown from a freakish natural disaster, and you are riding shotgun on the anti-nuclear bandwagon. Bandwagon? I think not. I've always questioned nuclear energy's safety. It is no more dangerous than any other energy source. You kidding me? Do you really believe that George? If a wind turbine tumbles to the ground the only casualties are pocket gophers. If a nuclear power plant malfunctions, hundreds of thousands of people are affected from radiation leaking into the air, seeping into the ground and spilling into lakes, rivers and oceans. And in case you have not heard, radiation exposure causes cancer birth defects and mental retardation. I am not talking about wind, T. Boone Pickens. I am talking about fossil fuels. It does not matter. The bottom line is that it is technically impossible to build a nuclear power plant that is 100% safe. The design may look secure in the eyes of engineers and scientists, but what they can't measure is the human factor. As a species, our history is plagued with bad decisions. The Titanic, the Hindenburg, Gary Bussey's facelift, and not surprisingly both Three Mile Island and Chernobyl were caused by human screw-ups. Granted an earthquake ignited Japan's current nuclear quagmire, but the extent in which radioactivity escaped to underscored, the lack of proven contingency plans. Which is mind-numbing considering Japan's seismic history, it experiences more earthquakes than any other nation on Earth. Building a nuclear power plant in Japan makes about as much sense as Building a radio shack in Pennsylvania's Amish country. How's the coin fair? Jesus, you scared the hell out of me. Sensitive are we? Let us just say I once had a bad experience with someone sneaking up on me. Hey, what is your take on nuclear energy? Totally and unequivocally against. Nuclear power plants are terrorist magnets. What do you know? You are not on Rushmore. Despite what you may think, George, I do not suffer from Rushmore envy. Ben is right, George. Al-Qaeda views nuclear power plants like Lex Luthor view script tonight. Can you imagine the ramifications if a terrorist attack caused a core meltdown at the Indian Point nuclear power plant? It is within 35 miles of New York City. A study by Santia National Laboratories estimates that depending on the wind direction, close to 600,000 New Yorkers could die horrible deaths from the radiation exposure. That is pure conjecture. Radiation is not that dangerous. Let's zip over to my street, George. I want you to see one of my afterlife neighbors who died in Chernobyl from nuclear fallout, Ben. If anyone comes looking for us, tell them we will be right back. Sure. Hello Mrs. Novikov. Hello Abraham. Tell Mrs. Novikov, George, that radiation is not dangerous. Wow, I did not know. The effects are truly horrific. Oh my gosh, and look at that guy. I am guessing he too suffered a horrible death from nuclear fallout. No you idiot. That is Michael Jackson. Shocking, huh? Very. And I have not even touched on the problems with storing nuclear waste. Difficult? Impossible. It must be monitored for thousands of years. 
and stored underground in containers that will not crack in the event of an earthquake or volcanic eruption, but that is a topic for another time. Speaking of time, first pitch at Afterlife Stadium is 30 minutes away. I have got extra tickets. This convention is just about over, you guys want to go. It is a great game too, the ancient Greek philosophers are playing the French Impressionist painters. And the first 10,000 fans receive a collectible Claude Monet bobblehead doll. Oh, yeah. I have got nothing going on. Yeah, I am in too. These are not balcony seats are they? No, why do you ask? I have my reasons.